Hi friends, I'm Erin and today we're talking about decorating bookshelves. Don't you just love it when you're watching a makeover YouTube video and the person is decorating shelves and they're like, oh, just put whatever you want on and see if it looks good. Okay, that's not helpful. Yes, you should put stuff up on your shelves and see if it looks good, but there are reasons why stuff looks good. Knowing those reasons makes decorating so much easier and less overwhelming. And so I'm going to give you some tips. Hopefully these tips I'm gonna tell you will help. So let's get into it. I don't know why I clapped. <laughs> first things first, you wanna start with your bigger items and then build around them. It's gonna make it easier to see what looks good where when you take care of your bigger items first. And with those bigger items, don't be afraid of space. Feel free to leave those items on their own. They can stand on their own. They can be independent. They can make their own decisions. I'm not a little girl anymore, dad. Are you? Okay? I'm fine. Which leads me to my next tip is creating varying heights. You don't want a consistent height throughout the whole shelf and you don't want to put items that are the same height right next to each other. If you're using books, you can turn them on their side and put decor on the top. When you do put things together, group them in odd numbers. Pieces on your shelf tend to look better in odd numbers, unlike in real life where no one likes to be the third wheel. Depth and layering. Try creating depth by layering pieces. Pictures are great for this. They create height while you can put decor right in front of them. Super cute tall piece and then little cute pieces in front. Okay, I'll say it right now. This is my most confusing tip ever. Whenever I explain it to my husband, I can never get it right. It's super confusing, but we're gonna talk about triangles and diagonals. Diag diagonals, diagonally. That's from Harry Potter. I'm going to try to explain it to you guys. You wanna create triangles and diagonals with the shape of your decor. See how this grouping is like a triangle and you see how this line is diagonal. Basically, you want to use these shapes to create movement. They tell your eye to keep moving up the shelf. Next is balance. When you put everything up on your shelf and you take a step back, you want to see balance and not symmetry. You don't want all the shelves to look the same, but they want to complement each other. So you don't want all the triangles on this side and then nothing on this side. And Finally, do what works for you. If you don't like these tips, ditch them. You have to live with it, so you get to do you. <laughs> you know, just throw stuff up and see what looks good. I'm gonna give you some more ideas on decorating your shelves by doing my shelf different ways because I like torture and uh, to give you more ideas on what you can do. In my opinion, bookshelves are for books, but I also read a ton and I realized not everyone reads or likes books. So in this example, I will be decorating the shelf with minimal books. Let's start with the big items. So it's tall, so we wanna put it at the tallest shelf. Also snake plants like low light and since this shelf is super far away from the window, this is okay. Oh, disclaimer on using real plants on your bookshelves. Make sure the lighting on your bookshelf will allow your plants to live. Having succulents not right by the window will most likely kill them. So use fake plants or low light plants like pothos or snake plants. Along with books, I think bookshelves should convey your personality. So pictures, trinkets that you like, try and pick pieces that speak to you. I don't have a lot of big pieces and all of my decor is books, so this is a little hard for me. I'm gonna try it out for you guys. As you can see here, I'm using the good old see if it looks good trick. like the taller things on the diagonals. And you have the triangles. 
triangle and we're layering. <laughs> Great. Next, we're gonna do an example of bookshelves that is very pretty, but a lot of work. Rainbow shelves. Not my personal taste because I like my series, my book series to be together, but not everyone is a nerd like me, so. Okay, we're doing rainbow shelves, so let's sort them all into Roy G. Biv. I soon realized that I didn't have enough colorful books to do a whole shelf, so we're only going to do part of one. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope these tips give you a good starting point on decorating your shelves. I hope they're helpful. If you wanna see me decorate another shelf, click to see my bathroom makeover. I decorate shelves in that video too. Please like this video and subscribe for more decorating, home makeover, plant content. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.